made his way to town. And the first group was the committed group. Right. They followed Jesus' leadership without question. They understood the mission. Right. They were devoted and obedient to the task as they gave of themselves willingly and cheerfully. When you commit it to the mission, you don't mind doing what you have to do to make the mission come about. The second group was the confused group. Well, what are you talking about, preacher? Those who did not recognize, acknowledge, or accept Jesus for who he truly was. Nor did they understand the plan that God had for their lives. They confessed that Jesus was Lord, but believed that their own works and not the and not God's grace is what was saved. Yes, this group was let me get on to my third group. Y'all done got quiet on me. Uh, the third group uh, was the pretenders. The pretenders. They have no real commitment. They just want to be seen. Uh, they were not willing to surrender to Jesus. They came out of habit and routine. Pretenders are easily influenced by the actions of others, they take the path of least resistance and let the approval of others dictate their commitment. They're simply pretenders. You know how pretenders are. They just show up and act like they've been doing something. They just show up and pretend that they've been working. They just show up and try to influence and make everybody think that they've been sitting here serving the Lord. They just pretend. Pretenders. Pretending to love the Lord. Pretending to serve the Lord. Pretending to worship. Pretending to come to Bible study. Pretending to give. Pretenders. The fourth group was the curious that was on the road. They were neither committed nor did they oppose anything. They may have heard something interesting and just wanted to find out what was happening. They're not necessarily looking for the truth, just for what makes them feel good at the moment. Those are the curious folk. You know how they are. Well, they're going to slip in and they're going to slip out. They're going to slide in and they're going to slide out. They, 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 they just curious. I, who's preaching today? I'm going to slip in. And if I don't like who's preaching, I'm going to slip out. Uh, they, they, they're just the curious folk. They just know their people. Uh, they don't want to be a part of nothing. They just want to look in and look out. They don't want to be committed. They don't want to be held to anything. They just curious. Let me get to this last group. This last group were the opposing group. Were those the opposing group? The opposing group. Those seeking to promote their own interest. Uh, they resist a commitment because a commitment requires them to change. And loyalty requires them to focus on Jesus and not on themselves. You know that kind of folk. Uh, every time you try to do something, they just oppose it. You know who they are. Every time you try to do something new, they say, well, we ain't never done it that way. Opposing group. Uh, you know that opposing group. Every time you come up with a new idea, they want to shoot it down. The opposing group. You know who they are. Folk who sit on, uh, sit on boards. Uh, folk who preach the gospel. Uh, the opposing group. Uh, the group who don't want to uh, stand up for anything, uh, but fall for everything. Uh, the opposing group. Uh, the, the, the folk who don't want to see the vision 
and, but have no vision of their own. The opposing group. Uh, the group who just want to stir up mess and keep it going around and around and around and around and around. You know, the opposing group.